As you may have seen a couple of weeks ago on the show, farmer and entrepreneur Trey Pippen put in a solar farm on his pecan orchard to offset the rising energy costs on his farm. Well, this week, the Monitor's Ryan Nakan once again shows us a farm family using a solar energy to power their operation and demonstrate to others in agriculture what they hope will be the future in farming. As you can imagine, running this chicken house takes a lot of energy. But what if I told you there's a way you could produce enough energy to run six chicken houses and still have power left over to operate two more? In the hills of Calhoun, Georgia sits Haven Farm. And since the 1970s, Brian Krogan and his family have ridden the wave of the poultry industry, which means they've also ridden the wave of the energy industry. But long ago, Brian dreamed of having renewable energy on his farm, a dream he got from his many trips out west. I fell in love with the West. So, I, so once I fell in love with it, I've been back to it several times. And I, I've seen this, I've seen the wind energy grow out there. I've seen those people with a, a vision and a, a vibrancy to, to invest into whether it be wind energy or whether it be solar. That's what got me really hooked on the solar energy. So with his newfound love for solar energy, he sought ways to harvest the sun's rays on his farm. With the price of constructing a solar farm too high for him to reach alone, he knew he needed help, so he met with the Georgia company Hannah Solar and applied for grants from the Georgia Environmental Finance Authority and the federal government. We've been actually working on this and meeting with Hannah Solar uh, for 18, 16 to 18 months now. We've met um, numerous times, signed numerous papers, uh, but as you can see here today, it's worth it to me and it's possible, it can be done. In Georgia, we've got uh, a fantastic solar resource in spite of what we've heard over the years. It's an incredible resource. It's only 15% less than what Death Valley has. The 456 solar panels that took a year and a half to plan only took about a month to construct, but the amount of time it will give back to Haven Farm holds no comparison. It's something that will keep giving. This system is designed to last for 30 years. With the contract that I have with TVA, as they're purchasing the power back from us, makes it possible also to do this because without that agreement with TVA, it would be hard uh, to finance this project, but it does make it very possible. I know what you're asking yourself at home. You're saying, Ryan, why are you throwing rocks at something that's worth over more than a million dollars? Well, these things are really durable. They can take hail up to 80 miles per hour and can sustain hurricane force winds. It's a wonderful way to be sustainable um, in terms of passing this on to the next generation where you haven't had a power bill for 30 plus years. It's, it's really incredible. We think about money so much in this society today, but it's really more to it than just money. Whether it be with our cows or whether it be with our poultry or whether it be with the land, that's our desire is to be a good steward. And, um, and we feel like here, by doing this, we're being a part of that good stewardship here. And that's our desire. A desire that will shine light on how agriculture and renewable energies will always be side by side. For the Georgia Farm Monitor, I'm Ryan Nockan.